Hi, this is Stephen Harvard Davis with another video blog. Some of my network friends have emailed me for my thoughts on how teams might change as a result of the UK government's impending budget cuts. There's already been a huge amount of press comment, and I agree with those that think that a 25% reduction in civil service spend will have a huge impact on the private sector. The result is likely to force most companies that supply government with goods and services to restructure their office and sales teams, and that in turn will affect businesses that supply them. This domino effect may even mean that teams that have already been restructured after the credit crunch will need to change and be restructured again, and possibly more than once. What do I mean by restructure? Well, obviously some teams will downsize or merge into other teams. Some teams will take on more projects and extend their responsibilities as a result of increased government spend. And some team leaders may change. The problem that companies must consider is that four out of every ten restructured teams fail to deliver what's expected. Just consider the implications for the statistic on just three scarce resources – time, money and business opportunities. Let me give you an example of the risks involved with failure. I was made aware a few months ago of a newly appointed sales director that had failed. His sales team stopped seeing new clients and selling the company's products as they watched the bloodletting going on at the top of the business. I calculated the amount of lost sales, lost opportunities, that the cost went into five million dollars. Now this example highlights the challenge for businesses when restructuring teams. This is how to manage the situation so that the risks can be reduced to an acceptable level. A couple of tips I would recommend is to increase communication both to and from team members and stakeholders, and maintain senior management involvement in the team, even if an experienced leader has been appointed. Then to clearly identify the areas that must be covered for team success, and what that success would look like, feel like, and what results need to be achieved not just at the year end, but each quarter throughout the year. The other tip is to calculate the poach rate of the team. This is the amount of money that a competitor is having to pay to steal your best talent. The greater the percentage of salary being paid to lure people away, the better. If your poach rate is less than 10%, there may be a problem with culture, leadership or management style that needs looking at. The reason for looking at the poach rate is that despite a lot of people being on the job market, there's a shortage of specific talent, particularly in areas such as change management and electrical engineers, amongst many other skills. If you have some questions on teams and their management, then email from me, and me at my website at www.stephenharvarddavis.com. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Talent Mentor. Best wishes and have a great day.